<coughs> Welcome to a post talk talk. <coughs> which you're getting to be stalling at home, Dad. Who am I? Serge, hi. This is where I continue to smoke with you and then talk and rant about bullshit I'm not an expert on. Okay. What are we... <coughs> I got this. What are we smoking today? What are we smoking today? Today we're smoking Mercy Fruit Haze from Hollyweed 907. Yo, my voice is off right now. <coughs> oh, that tastes so good. Oh, my God. Take the family down to Sonic and Wasilla. Oh my god. Like a 45 minute drive just to get to freaking Sonic. Oh, so good. So good. Um, Alright, we're smoking mercy. I'm starting to feel it. Yep. I'm only on the first bowl. I'm about to finish this. Yeah, this bowl's about to be done here. Actually, yeah. Mercy Fruit Haze. Cultivated by Mercy Tree of Alaska. <clears throat> Woo! Damn, I'm getting high. Oh, yeah. I'm starting to feel it. Uh, bought it at Hollyweed 907. Um, total THC is 22.95, and its CBD is at 0 0.09. Got two grams of this. This fucking looks beautiful. The buds look beautiful. And the smell is so pungently diesel. Oh, that's diesel. God, this is like a fucking nail in the back of a car. Oh, oh. That's it. The smell, honestly, like like diesel. Like what's diesel smell? I know this. This literally reminds me of um, <coughs> like on the streets of uh, New York City. Sometimes. It's Smell car exhaust and all that. Uh, some car exhaust smells different than others, which I was like, oh, this is sweeter. I'm like, oh, this must be something that uses diesel. <sighs> yep, 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 yep. Mm. <sighs> Smelling like gas fumes. Woo. God, I love. All right, let me pack up another bowl, see where a second bowl takes us. Because one bowl, I'll tell you now, I am uh, awake. I've been, been napping before this. And um, third the Super Bowl. <laughs> I wasn't watching the Super Bowl because I just I don't have the patience. Um, and plus, I don't have cable or whatever. I just yeah, I watch Hulu, Netflix, and YouTube. Um, what the fuck's going on? I'm fucking high. I'm getting high now. I'm getting high, yo. By the way, um, this week I'm gonna be uh, reviewing all the sh a lot of strains from Hollyweed. I got six or seven strains, and I got a couple of joints. I've never been disappointed with Halloween. I'll tell you that. I've never ever been disappointed with Halloween. They've always had very good smelling weeds. Some really pungent ones. Ones that got me fucking blaze. So I'm really excited. And uh, they also have a whole lot. Of, um, last week I was just, I didn't realize I was just doing one cultivator, uh, RC Tinder box, which, you know, good weed, good gross. Um, but this week I'm gonna, you know, every day, I try to pick as many different cultivators as I could so I could, you know, Spread the love around. Um, I'll let you know how good your weed is. But Mercy Tree of Alaska. Yo, this Mercy Food Haze is fucking good. Like, it's good. One bowl, I'm fucking high now. Like, I'm buzzing. I feel good. It is definitely a sativa. My head's buzzing. Um, yeah, I just feel a lot better. I feel like euphorically nice and relaxed. Not relaxed, I feel energized. I was relaxed already, so. <laughs> oh, uh, what are we talking about today? We're going to be talking about the Super Bowl, or at least attempting to try to talk about the Super Bowl, because, you know, what the fuck do you know about the Super Bowl? I am not the person to be talking about the Super Bowl or NFL, by the way, at all. At all! Yeah, so, just watch me get high, I guess. Just watch me get high, so. And just try and talk and pull shit out of my ass right now, so. Oh, it does hit hard. Not too hard when it comes from smooth, mild to harsh. It's about mild, harsh. <coughs> That's how hard you hit it. Hit it too hard, it's going to be harsh. Hit it just right, it'll be mild. <coughs> and you're going to cough a bit. Um, so, 
tastes like diesel. <coughs> this whole fucking room smells like diesel now, I bet. Um, okay, what are we talking? Okay, uh, Super Bowl. We're talking about the Super Bowl. Let's talk a little bit about the history of the Super Bowl, which, you know, what the fuck you know about the Super Bowl, sir? It's not much, but let me tell you what I kind of know. First Super Bowl started in 1967. Um... February something, 1967, where the Packers played the Red, the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs, yeah, uh, and uh, the Packers won. Um, why did the NFL start? I guess there was a whole bunch of fucking teams, and they're like, yeah, I'll just kind of put them together or some shit like that, and then they started having their own A-League, B-League, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm starting to get high now. I am starting to get high. This is good. Um, oh, yeah, I am very feeling it. I am fucking feeling it out. Yes. So, anyways, why call it the Super Bowl, too? Because, you know, I looked into that. They're like, well, apparently colleges used to call their big, you know, like the championship games or whatever a bowl. And so they're like, well, every, you know, NFL, any, every, every football game ends up ending at a bowl. So let's have a Super Bowl. So they're like, let's have a Super Bowl. <laughs> call it a Super Bowl. Uh, in 1967, and now 55 years later, it's Super Bowl 55, right? Am I about to do math here in my fucking head? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I don't know. Hold up, hold up, for Kirk. This is Super Bowl 55, right? And 67 it was the first Super Bowl. Very 2021, right? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, that doesn't add up. Whatever. I know my numbers are fucking right, though. Because I looked them up right before I came up here. <laughs> so, that's as much history that I'm going to tell you guys. Because I don't know much about the history. But this Super Bowl. So, I looked at a couple of the highlights of the game. Um, seemed very fucking exciting, very exciting. And then I, <laughs> then I started stumbling across YouTube channels where you know, Chief fans are talking about it. Wow, they seem so down. Wow, live streaming their reactions and all, and you know, like, wow, they're so down. They're so down. They're like, look, look, like it's okay, like. <laughs> That's sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. If you're a Chiefs fan, that sucks. You know, don't worry. I get it. Don't get end up back in the Super Bowl again. So shit, don't worry about it. I can let the Buccaneers have this because from what I've read in the first, on a couple of tweets in the first fucking half, uh, the first quarter, well, no, first quarter, in the first half of the Super Bowl this year, that apparently everyone who touched the fucking, um, who scored a touchdown on the Buccaneers. Like, they, they weren't on the Buccaneers last year. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, they needed the help. So let them get the Super Bowl. It's all right. Um, let them have the Super Bowl. It's okay. Uh, fuck. They got that what? Tom Brady? So, y'all, let's talk a little bit about Tom Brady. Was it Tony Brady? Tom Brady. It's Tom Brady. Ben Brady? John Brady? Tim Brady? Like, you know who the fuck he is, Serge. It's Tom Brady. Where's it, John Brady? This is John Stewart. It's John Stewart. Anyway, so let's talk about John Stewart. Um, let's talk about Tom Brady. Just kidding. <coughs> oh, this is good weed. It's just the second ball, and I'm fucking high already. <coughs> <coughs> wow, that's really good. <coughs> Hold on, let me hear this. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm high now. I'm fucking high. I'm high. Talk about Tom Brady. <coughs> Yo, I don't know who the fuck he played for. I think I remember. I think he probably for the Patriots, if I remember that. Um, who else the fuck did he play for? Did he play for the Cowboys? Did he come to the Cowboys once? I don't know. Anyway, whoever, whoever he apparently just been jumping teams and shit like that. But the dude's been winning Super Bowls. 
this, I think this is what is going to be his seventh or his eighth or something like that. Yo, come on. If he takes your team to the fucking Super Bowl, and yes, it's a whole team effort. Understood. But who throws the fucking ball? Right? Tom Brady throws the ball, right? <laughs> Woo! Where does he catch the ball? Yo, I'm fucking high. I should know this. See, a pitcher or a catcher? That's baseball, Serge. <laughs> My gosh, I'm sorry. If you love NFL, you must be fucking furious right now. You're like, this motherfucker doesn't know shit about the NFL. Yeah, I don't know shit about the NFL. So just shut the shit off and go fucking do your own thing. Because it's just going to be you guys watching me get high and trying to explain fucking NFL. Because I don't fucking know much about NFL. I know this, but look, I was introduced to NFL when I was like 18, 19, when I first joined the military. Yeah, when I was, I turned 18 at that time, by that point. Yeah, when I joined the military, I was 17, and then like AIT, he showed me NFL games, and I was like, oh shit. I'm like, like I knew about football and stuff, right? Because, yeah. by the way, when it comes to sports fan, fucking Yankees fan right here. You need to understand, I was a hardcore Yankees fan back then, now I just don't, I don't give a shit. Um... Can't, you can't put your you can't put your heart and fucking passion into a fucking sports team like this. Like, yeah, show your love, show your colors and all that. You know, uh, fucking let them. You know, show your team the love and everything like that and support. But you, you got you got to be able to separate that shit too. You got to be able to disconnect that shit because some people's passion becomes almost like a fucking religion and they'll kill for that. They'll be fucking Phillies fans. Oh my gosh. Was it Philly? No. What 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 fucking city fucking tore itself up when they fucking won? What fucking city was that? When they won, they started fucking celebrating. Fuck's going on, bleh. Fucking hey. Yo, that's just some stupid shit. Yo, when fandom comes goes to a point of just extremism. Oh thank you. No, thank you. That's just too much, yo. That's just too much. Because you know what? It is so crushing when your team loses. And your team will lose. Your team will win. Your team will lose. But if you're putting so much passion to that, that it's fucking crushing you and causing you fucking ulcers and all this other stress and unwanted, you don't need that shit. What the fuck? Come on. It's a fucking team. And you're not playing for them. You're not making any money off them. And by the way, NFL, fuck. I'm going to fucking start ranting on this shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers. Fucking amount of fucking money that these fucking NFL motherfuckers get. Holy shit. And then asking them for fucking don't look. I used to work at a nonprofit and at points I did event coordination. And I was like, okay, well, I'm putting together this fucking event. Let me get as much fucking donations as I can to get people to, you know, bid on it and, you know, a bunch of gift packages and all this shit. So I reached out to the NFL. And I was like, okay, let's see if the NFL could get anything because, you know, we have Seahawks fans up here, Chicago. And, uh, we have all kinds of. Ooh. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I gotta clean my pipe. Ugh. A little bit of target on my finger. But anyway, there's a whole lot of fucking people that are like... So I, was, so I started reaching out to as many NFL teams as I can. Asking for donations. <laughs> oh my gosh. NFL themselves, the league or whatever, is a... They claim, I think, to be a non-profit or something like that. Or what? whatever I was reading on their site... Or some kind of organization. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, you guys make money. Doesn't matter. Look, look through your own research. I might be wrong. But when I, but they said, okay, we can't give donations, but we, you got to go to the teams themselves. And I was like, okay, makes sense. Teams pretty much don't give donations unless you're from. A lot of the teams don't give donations unless you're from the city or that area or what the fuck on. And what they give you is a, not even a hand sign. Um, they give you a fucking football. They give you a fucking football. This is something. It's like a memorabilia gift. It's fucking worth like five fucking dollars for them, or, or even less. Um, and I'm sorry. No, I got when I got that football. I was like, oh shit. I'm like, wait, was this really signed? I'm like, because if it was signed, yeah, that's great. The value of this football would be fucking crazy up high. But no, oh, and by the way, when I was asking about this, this was during this huge controversy of motherfuckers, like, 
beating the shit out of spouses and uh, fucking, well, it's been decades of this, but, um, and I was just like, maybe, you know, maybe they'll give, maybe they'll give. No, they didn't give a damn. They didn't give a damn. <laughs> and by the way, I, uh, this was for like a nonprofit to help victims of sexual violence. So I'm just like, fuck you people. Um, giving a shit fucking football, a shit fucking football. Anyway, that's me ranting. I'm bitching. But let's talk about the Super Bowl. And about the God, they make so much fucking money. They make so much fucking money on these fucking games. So much fucking money. A couple fucking years ago, what was like $4 million just for a 30 second advertisement for that fucking game. And yes, they need money to pay their players. Got it. They need money to run that stadium. Got it. But they don't pay any fucking taxes. And majority of the fucking times, the citizens and the fucking taxpayers pay to get them fucking stadiums built. And then they don't profit off of none of that. What the fuck? Fuck, here in Alaska, we got people drilling into our fucking land, but they're still paying us. They may be fucking up our land and our fucking, econ or our fucking ecosystem and shit, but like, at least we're getting some fucking money. They're in your fucking cities. Just fucking caught... <laughs> Getting the money out of you motherfuckers and not giving you a fucking cent back except for entertainment. So, yeah, that's why NFL kind of rubs me the wrong way. Actually, all the sports fucking teams rub me the wrong way. Until I start seeing them giving back to their fucking community. Giving back to, like, really giving fucking back. Like, millions and millions and millions of fucking tax revenue back. Then fuck yeah, I will support the shit out of you motherfuckers. But no, right now, like... Uh, Sorry, that's just me getting upset. I know some of y'all pay taxes. <laughs> some of y'all. <laughs> some of y'all! Gosh, any way to make a fucking dollar. Anyways, that's just... That's just greed. 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 And by the way, put more black people in your fucking, like, executive fucking... Like, what the fuck? Sorry, that's just fucking... That really pisses me the fuck off. I, <laughs> all these fucking white owners and shit. Mm, motherfuckers. Anyway, so... I, NFL kind of rubs me the wrong way, just a little bit. But uh, watching football is fun as fuck. I will admit that. It is very fun. It is fucking... Playing football is fucking fun. I love playing football. It is fucking fun. And the amount of fucking physical... Oh my god, these guys put their bodies through so much shit. I would, I would die if I got tackled by any of them. Just fucking, I'd be done. I'm done. Like, they'd be like hit by a fucking semi truck. Fuck that. No. So, yo, these, they're fucking warriors. Fuck, my god. So that, we watched that NFL because fuck yeah, these fucking teams, the players, holy shit, they're fucking amazing. They're strong as fuck. Gosh, damn, it's like Hulk's on the fucking field. It's, Oh my gosh, he's fucking awesome. Anyways, um, damn. And I understand why some fans have such extreme fandom because, you know, they want to be like that too. They fucking bulk up strong, fast as fuck, strong as fuck, be able to throw, oh my gosh, and the amount of love and admiration that they get. Guys, so yes, there are fucking people that we look up to. Yes, it's understood. They're fucking, oh my God, there's some amazing fucking people out there. Um, and a lot of them do good. Like, a lot of them actually do good and start their own fucking foundations and give money. And so, like, there's a lot of good NFL players. It's just, you know, the NFL owners and shit. That shit fucking makes me mad. Um, and a little upset, but whatever. You know, things will get better. Things will get better. Things will get better. Um, but it's fun to watch. Uh, college football is a lot more fun to watch. Because then NFL just watching it, it just seems like they're all trying to kind of like get, you know, a little further, far, further, further, like just get those yards, get those yards, get those yards. But college, they're trying all these fucking different plays. They're, it's like they're trying to entertain. <coughs> they're trying to entertain, but they're trying to fucking win. Like they are trying to win. And you can see it in their fucking plays and the way they go. And they're fucking running through it. Oh my God, so it's fun. <coughs> I like this week. Highly recommend it. <coughs> I'm gonna put in a little fresh batch in here. This will be my third bowl. Uh, let you know how it goes in when I write about it. Um, but yeah, so uh, this is some good weed. This is some good weed.
This guy was like, it works to mine. I feel fucking more energized than before. I'm more awake. And tastes like these out. You little weasel. So I'm gonna hit this. I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I'm already past my 20 minute mark. And um, yeah, NFL. I tried, guys. So, or Super Bowl, I guess I was trying to talk about. I don't know. Anyway, leave me a comment. Tell me what I should talk about next and what strains I should try. Whew. Oh my gosh. I am high now. I'm actually really high now. I'm high. I'm high. Yep. I'm fucking high. I'm head high. I'm mad head high. Yeah, I'm very head high. Wow. All right. I'm going to hit this and shut the fuck. Just shut up, sir. Just shut up. Hit it. Hit it hard. I'm high. Oh, God. Damn. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh. Hit it hard, come on! Love, peace, chicken green, bite, cut!